dive right into this major winter storm. So this midweek storm setup, this is what we're watching for. A very strong cold front is going to depart from the Pacific Northwest, diving south into the plains as we head into Tuesday and Wednesday. Then it will tap into that Gulf of Mexico moisture, and that's going to feed the storm. Widespread showers and embedded thunderstorms will be felt all the way from the southern plains through the southeast. And then we start to see that transitioning over to that wintry mix. That thin line of pink, that's what you see there for that wintry mix and then behind this cold front we are going to have strong arctic air ushering in and it's going to be cold so we'll have pretty substantial snow now what's so impressive about this storm system is that look at this it is going to extend nearly 3,000 miles from the southwest all the way through Canada. So a lot of folks are going to be impacted by this storm system as we head into the next several days. So significant snow as well as rain and ice is going to be expected for millions. That's why we're keeping a very watchful eye on it here at Fox Weather. But in terms of those snow totals, what we could see, we are going to go with kind of a widespread area of three to five inches for folks who live in Kansas as well as eastern Colorado down to portions of let's say northeast Oklahoma. However, then we start to see those pink shades popping up. That's where we could see five to eight inches and in some locations between Kansas City all the way through St. Louis through Detroit. So the Great Lakes region, that's where we're watching to see those higher snow totals, potentially eight to 12 inches. So some folks might see a foot of snow by the time it's all said and done. But this is also certainly one of our bigger concerns. So this past weekend system, we weren't really tracking the ice. However, the ice threat is going to be significant for this next upcoming storm system, especially from Oklahoma all the way through Arkansas, Missouri, stretching into Illinois and through the Ohio Valley. So we're watching this closely, but St. Louis, at least for today, if you do have any, any preparations that need to be done today, is going to be your best day to get outside and do those because the rain comes up to the forecast as we head into Tuesday, and then that transitions over to the snow as we see those temperatures go from the 50s on Tuesday down to the 30s on Wednesday, and then eventually down to the 20s on Thursday, keeping that snow in the forecast. We finally start to dry things out, Stephen, on Friday, but look at those temperatures. It is still very cold behind that strong cold front. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.